what's up guys mills is here and welcome back to the channel in this video i will show you how to bypass icloud on iphone 5. this method is easy and simple and it requires some easy steps you can also bypass iphone 5c and ipad 4 in the same method all right the first thing you will do is restore the iphone 5 device it's important to restore your device before bypass icloud all right, as you see here, this is my device and my device has iCloud and now I will restore my device. Okay, I will connect my device. As you see, it has iCloud, therefore I will not be able to restore it from my Mac. So I will put my device into the if you mode manually. In order to put your device into the if you mode, Press the power button and the home button together for 5 seconds. Once the screen turns off, keep holding the power button and the home button for 3 seconds. Then release the power button but keep holding the home button for 10 seconds or until you see the recovery pop up on iTunes. Okay, as you can see guys, my device is now in the iffy mode. Now I will restore the device. Alright guys, there is a very important note. Once the restore finishes, immediately put your iPhone 5 into the if you mode. Don't let your device boot up. If you don't put your device into the if you mode, you will have to restore the device again. Okay, I will speed up the video. As you can see, the restore has been completed successfully. Now enter the if you mode immediately. Once the restore finishes, immediately enter the if you mode and don't let your device do the first boot. All right, I will put my device into the if you mode. Okay, press the power button and the home button together for five seconds. Once the screen turns off, wait three seconds, then release the power button and keep holding the home button until you see the recovery pop up on iTunes. As you can see, my device is now in the if you mode. Now we finished the first step. And now the second step is to open Sliver tool. You will find the download link for this tool below this video. As you can see, this is the tool. Okay, open A6 devices option. Choose iPhone 5. Now there are some simple steps that you must do here. First, you need to put your device in pound mode. Okay, now click enter pound mode and wait a few seconds. As you see, my device is now in pound mode. In case that your device didn't enter it in pound mode, you will not see this. Therefore, you will need to restart your device and then enter your device directly to the if you mode before the first boot. Alright, now you will choose the RAM disk option. You can choose the standard RD or alternative rd all right i will choose alternative rd because it always works for me unlike standard rd which does not work on the first time okay now click load and wait a few seconds all right disconnect your device for five seconds then reconnect it and click continue As you see, alternative RAM disk has been sent. Now your iPhone should be like this. You should see a beautiful image like this. Alright, now the final step. Okay, now click on Relay Device Info. Now click Delete Setup App. After pressing Delete Setup App, your device should restart itself. Okay, as you can see, it didn't work with me the first time. Okay, I will try again. Relay device info. Delete setup app. As you see, it didn't work either. If it doesn't work for you, disconnect and reconnect your device and try again. Relay device info. Delete setup app. Okay, it didn't work. If the last two steps didn't work for you, then the solution is to restart your Mac. Just restart your Mac and do the last two steps. Don't restart your iPhone. Alright, I will restart my Mac and come back. 
Okay, now after I restarted my device, I will try again. Alright, I will open Slaver tool. A6 devices. iPhone 5. Alright, now click Relay Device Info. Now click Delete Setup App. Alright, it didn't work the first time, so I will try again. Relay device info, delete it up app. Boom, as you can see guys, now it worked. Now my iPhone 5 will restart itself. As you can see, it works perfectly now. The device now will do the first boot, so wait a few seconds. Your device should open directly to the home screen without the activation screen. If your device does not open on the home screen, then this means that you will need to restore your iPhone again and repeat the same steps. Okay, as you can see guys, my device is now on the home screen and the activation screen has not appeared. Alright guys, this bypass is completely untethered which means you can restart your device and the iCloud activation screen will not appear again. Alright, I'm going to restart my device to show you that this is a completely untethered bypass. As you see, right on the home screen, no more iCloud activation screen. This is how to bypass iCloud on iPhone 5. You can also do the same steps for iPad 4 and iPhone 5C. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace.